All right, I'm, I'm here on our next generation uh, loader with our cat payload scales. I'm gonna talk a little bit about low level way and our tip off feature. They work great in conjunction with each other. So in the menu structure, if you do wanna use the tip off mode, you've gotta go in and turn it on. And now that it's on, it'll always be on until you turn it off. But this is the default mode so that every time you press store, it'll return back to this tip off mode right here that you've got selected. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bucket load of material. And now you can see I've got a bucket load of material and I could give a very brash lift out of this pile and lift up and get a precision weight. You can see 7.3. I got that weight after I pass through the weight range uh, and it's a good accurate weight, but I'd prefer if that's too much, now you just gotta come down and dump some off. A better way of approaching this, I'm gonna subtract that off. If you are above 30% of your lift range, so you can tell where you're at in your weigh range uh, by this weigh range area. If you are 30% above, you can actually generate a low level weigh very quickly by just giving a smooth, steady lift. And so when you come out of that pile, I encourage you just to give a smooth, steady lift. If it's too much material, now you can just start metering material off. And you notice I start with 7.6. I just start dumping material get a slight rise there, but I still say I've got too much material here, so I wanna keep metering material off of this bucket and leave material behind and just carry what's in my bucket remaining over to my truck. So in this case, um, tip off just a little bit more, call it good there, and you can see I, uh, I started with that 6.9. I've actually tipped off some material. If you wanna know how much fell off, you can hit this tip off to toggle button. So I metered off about two tons. If I just want to carry the 5.5, I leave it in tip off to stockpile mode. You can see the stockpile there or right there. And in this case, I say that's what I was looking for. So I just keep back out of the pile and carry that material over to my truck. Don't have to interact with that display at all. And I just carry only what I need to that truck. And you can see how that estimated weight with that tip off very close to what that uh, final weight actually needs to be pretty smooth way to get a nice accurate bucket weight on that last pass